So the main piece of work today is to clean up some of the bits of metal and also we've done a bit of work on the playfield. Uh, the noise you can probably hear in the background is the tumbler running away, cleaning up all the small pieces of metal. But for bits like this, which are too big to fit in a tumbler, I'm going to hit them with a the Dremel and a bit of sanding and see if we can't get a bit more shine out of it. As you can see, just trying to bring it out into the light a bit actually. It's quite, it's got that bit of sort of dull and not the best fair bit of corrosion on it and stuff like that. So see what we can do with that. The other thing to note is we've fixed the playfield. Well, we've got the sheared off screws out, as you can see from the match heads that are sticking out the playfield. So it took a while, a fair bit of drilling and hacking away, but eventually we've got them all out. And these matches, these matches are glued in, waiting for them to dry, and I'll snap them off and just fill the playfield back in. But a bit pleased with that. I say it took a while, but at least it's done. And almost always managed to get some spare posts off the uh, spare playfield as well, so that bit is pretty much sorted. But next thing, a bit of metal, and I'll hook back to this, when hopefully it's a bit shinier. So all the tumbling's finished, and I've also pretty much done with the dremeling up all the bits of metal, as you can see here. So a few select bits and pieces. The idea is not to, these don't have to be perfect, and they don't have to be mirror shiny, but the main job was to get all the, the rust, so some of them had quite a bit of rust on and just a bit of dullness and corrosion, so the idea was to try and get some of that off. I mean, if I get it up close, you can kind of see, it's, you know, they're not like mirror finish by any means, but that's not really the uh, objective of this, it was just to get them a bit cleaner, so looking pretty good, I'm pretty pleased with that. I've also done the uh, the lockdown bar and the brackets, uh, I, I haven't really filmed this before, but there was uh, quite a lot of rust on the lockdown bar assembly, that's all gone. And then I also had a little bit, if we go in this light on, took the uh, shooter assembly apart and did the same, chucked all the bits in the tumbler and cleaned those up a bit. Um, you can't really tell, but I've also stripped the flipper buttons down on the start button, cleaned all those up and put those back on as well, so they're sorted. I did r quickly run around with a bit of auto sol and polish up stuff as well. That's pretty much it for progress so far so no further updates other than that. Um, I think the next job's going to be, now that I've spent up quite a bit of time cleaning all the bits and pieces I took off the playfield, is actually cleaning the playfield so we'll break out the magic eraser. What I'll try and do is and take some close up sort of shots or videos of areas where it's a bit dirty and see if we can do a before and after on that one and hit it with the magic eraser and then we'll nervous it and we'll get the wax out and all that good bits and pieces. In terms of fixes, this pop bumper Still not working properly, so I'll need to have a look at that. This this one's fine and really strong actually, but uh, but this one's not, not playing ball at the moment, so that needs a bit of work. I'm going to clean all the inserts, get the cotton buds out, and clean all the inserts from underneath, and um, replace so I can replace the bulbs obviously. Uh, and then I think most of the rest of the jobs are in the back, so getting the lights working, which has obviously been on the card since day one, and it might also be time to break out some wood filler and attempt to sort out that corner as well, we'll, we'll have a look at that. Um, but that is it so far, uh, there will be another video probably over the, after the weekend when I've had a bit more time to spend working on it. Cheers.